हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू गेट वाला इंग्लिश यूट्यूब चैनल तो गाइज अवर टुडे टॉपिक इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर दो स्टूडेंट हु वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट देयर प्रिपरेशन जर्नी राइट नाउ तो गाइज टुडे वी विल डिस्कस इन डिटेल वॉट आर द वेरियस पॉइंट विच वी नीड टू कंसिडर और विच वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड बिफोर स्टार्ट अवर जर्नी फॉर द गेट एग्जामिनेशन तो लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड गाइज वॉट आर दीज पॉइंट इन डिटेल तो द फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज बेसिकली अवर सिलेबस पार्ट राइट सर you need to download basically the syllabus of the gate examination from the gate website and then you need to understand what are the various subject which have high weightage low weightage and medium weightage right the second important most point is basically your target sir what should be the target or how much marks should i uh, score so that i can achieve any psu or i can get selected in psus and so that i can get, uh, get selected in iits also for my masters program so we'll discuss that target also third one is basically resource what should be my resource so that i can make my preparation journey very smooth and in a very planner manner right and the next one is basically the time management so how i can manage my time and what should be the time which is required for the subjects to cover it right so we'll discuss all these points in this particular session guys so let us start with the syllabus part so guys i have divided the syllabus in three category basically there are three category one is high scoring subject second one is medium scoring subject and third one is low scoring subject in high scoring subject you can see here soil mechanics environmental engineering fm and ocf mathematics and aptitude if you see these type of subject guys these are subjects is having very high weightage in the gate examination which is approximately equal to 10 to 12 marks of individual subject and if you add the weightage of individual subject what you will find guys 55 to 60 marks is to be asked from these subjects only right that means you can score 50% of the marks from these subjects only right so what you need to do you need to cover these subjects in the initial days of your preparation journey right try to cover high scoring subjects first understood second point is basically our medium scoring subject so in medium scoring subject category we have theory of structure transportation surveying strength of material and rcc and the weightage of individual subject is basically 4 to 5 marks on an average and guys if you take the summation of that that is basically 25 to 30 marks that means if you cover the syllabus of these type of subject you are able to or or you are able to attain the uh, attain the marks of gate in the gate examination basically in between 25 to 30 marks right so guys please try to cover these subjects also as well as high scoring subject also do not skip any of them right because it is mandatory it is mandatory to cover these subjects otherwise you are trying to skip a major part of your uh, gate paper right that's why guys do not skip any of the subject from medium scoring subject and high scoring subject understood third category is basically low scoring subject so if we talk about low scoring subject we have hydrology steel structure irrigation engineering mechanics cpm and building material the weightage of individual subjects is basically 1 to 2 mark so guys let us suppose if you cover these type of subject in the last duration of your preparation journey so what will happen let us suppose if any of the subject i am not able to cover so what i will do i will try to find out what are the important points or what are the major uh, topic which was asked from individual subject in the gate previous year paper and i will cover it so that these type of subject will also get covered but what i recommend guys you can do this type of type of thing for one or two subject not for all of them right try to cover all the subjects it is mandatory but if let us suppose you are not able to cover it so in such situation you can cover the important topic of these subjects right so the overall weightage of these subject is 10 to 15 marks in the gate examination clear okay the next important point is basically our target so what what should be the marks which i want to focus or i should achieve so that i can select in the psu or so that i can get any iit also right so what i recommend you guys try to score at least at least 70 plus marks 
so that you will be in top 200 student and if you are in top 200 student that means you may get call from the PSUs also for interview as well as you may have choice to select any IIT with your branches also whatever branches or specialization is your favorite right so guys try to score at least 70 plus marks in the gate examination third point is is basically the structure contain or structure resource try to follow the structure resources only right do not follow the unstructured resources sometime you may get distracted also and your time will get wasted simple so what i recommend you try to follow some structure resources like classroom program like class notes why because you know that guys there are various classroom programs you have and there are respective faculty for different different subjects and they have very vast experience in it and they know what contain is to be asked in the gate examination what type of question they will ask right what topic you have to cover what not so all these type of thing get sorted when you are following some classroom program or class notes right so it is my recommendation try to follow the classroom program okay then after completing the classroom program or individual chapter of any subject you can uh, you can go with the pyq book also try to find a pyq book do not download the pyq papers right because what will happen guys you need to sort the question which question was asked from which subject so that will be, uh, become very clumsy so it is very easy to find a pyq book a good pyq book in which you may get, uh, get the solution also as well as the question also as well as they are bifurcated on the basis of their respective subject so try to get a good pyq book next one is basically our test series you should follow a test series also so that you can find out what is your performance after learning the topic right like topic wise test you need to follow the topic wise test subject wise test mixed subject test and full length test so try to give a good test series also guys in which you find such type of test in the test series basic right in the last we'll discuss basically the time management sir how i can manage my time so that i can cover the entire syllabus of the gate examination from today itself so guys if you want to cover the gate syllabus so the total duration required to cover the entire syllabus is basically 950 to 1000 hours and if you are giving 6 to 7 hour daily then it is very easy to cover this particular duration in upcoming six months you can calculate it also right if you want you can calculate it also just you need to multiply six to seven hour multiply by 180 days you are able or, or just multiply by 150 days so that you can understand how much duration you are getting understood so guys if you want to cover the high weightage subjects just plan it in the initial time of your preparation journey so approximately equal to 70 to 75 days are required to cover the high weightage subjects according to their uh, preparation or uh, you can say that according to their time duration of individual subjects and this is already calculated I have already calculated it and written it over here guys right so just you need to understand 70 to 75 days are required to cover the entire high weightage subjects easily right if you talk about the medium weightage subject guys it required approximately equal to 50 days if you delicately give these 6 to 7 hour on a daily basis then it is easy to cover the medium weightage subject in 50 days only right so go through it then after this guys try to cover the low weightage subjects in remaining 30 days so if you add all these duration what you will find guys it is approximately equal to 150 to 160 days right 150 to 160 days so in between that you are able to get all the contain all the syllabus has to be done in which you are able to cover the test series in which you are able to understand the class notes in which you are able to cover the PYQ also as well as your practice of the question understood so these are the point which you need to understand before starting your preparation journey for the gate examination in civil engineering right I hope you are able to understand this particular point thank you so much guys let's meet in the next video